ready, Buki? Yes. Hi guys, this is Martin from martinthevlogger.com slash shop. We are at the Wilbur's factory with Mr. Perfecto, nope. Buki, <laughs> uh, head of R&D and head technician, whole brain of the shock manufacturing here. And today, in today's video, we will talk about reservoir. Yep. Good, I have learned something. We will talk about click system and we will talk about hook wrench. So, Buki, if you can tell us a little bit more, because all of these parts, when you buy these shocks on martinthevlogger.com slash shop for your Can-Ams, uh, all of these parts, you will actually, you will uh, experience them. So it's a good video for you to, to learn a little bit more. So tell us, please. Yeah, the reservoir you need um, for special um, mo high movement, it's a, it's a piston rod, especially for um, motocross bikes or race bikes. We have uh, high temperature in a, in a shock and we needed to separate the oil from the gas. This is the reason we need a reservoir. So we have uh, oil in the whole shock yeah. and you're telling me like here it's a gas under yeah. the high pressure. We have here a little bit uh, 10 millimeters oil also inside. Then we have uh, aluminum uh, piston and on the other side we have gas pressure nitrogen. Okay, and you have basically Two, two options to close it and open it, right? Yeah. And we will talk more about this reservoir in another video because we don't want to complicate things. Now we are really focusing on different things that you will actually experience when you buy shocks uh, from Wilbur's. So that, that's a reservoir. Usually we have it on rear shock on our bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else we have probably to talk about? Oh, what is this? Is this something similar or? No, this is a special thing. This is a preload adjuster, a hydraulic preload adjuster. When you have a bike or um, like a can spider, um, when you don't uh, can go to the, to the shock with this tool, with the wrench, to adjust the preload when you have more load on it with a second person or a big luggage, then it's easier to have a, a preload adjuster like this one. On this, this hand red, you can adjust it and give more preload to the shock. Okay, we will again talk about this preload, what it does and how it affects riding in a separate video. And one correction already by me, I think this reservoir we have on shocks in front on the Riker. Well, and, preload, and preload adjuster <laughs> we have on F3S and F3 bikes at the back, yeah. definitely, for sure. So, last point, it's... Oh, Benny! Hey, one question for... We're, we're, Mr. Wilbers is here. Oh, oh you're in the video. Sorry. No problem. No, no problem. No problem. Me. No, well, I am very smart. <laughs> this is a so... unique moment, guys, because <laughs> Mr. Wilbers, by himself, is in this video. Sorry, I didn't see the camera, but uh, no I'm happy to be there. Good. May we help you somehow? Yeah, but I can't tell it in the camera. Okay. So, most probably bonuses uh, for this year Christmas. For me, maybe, hopefully. Hook wrench. Yeah. Tell me how, where our customers can, can meet with this tool and what it does, please. The hook wrench is uh, for a shock without a preload adjuster. You can open here this nut and then adjust the preload on the, on the second nut to give more or less preload. Or you can take it like, like here, you see, and then you can open or close in both directions with this tool. Okay, but correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but what do I usually tell to my customers? Yeah. Don't touch. Because everything comes specially built for the customer. So customer shares always the weight of the rider, of the passenger in case two are riding, of the luggage, and how often do you ride alone, alone with luggage, two up, two up with luggage. Yeah. So I say, tell them, don't yeah, bloody this touch. This is, is uh, correct and also not correct okay. because the, the basic setting we give you and your customer, but when the the um, load on a bike change. When you okay. ride alone, this is the correct basic. When you ride uh, with, with a second person, then he must adjust. Okay. And when this change often time, then it's better 
the install hydraulic preload adjuster. For okay. Yeah. Okay. Very clear. Guys, this was it from the basic things what you will experience when you are buying Wilbur shocks. Okay. Benny was here and he has interrupted us and we forgot to talk about one important thing. The clicks. Clicks. So everybody that buys uh, shocks for, for spiders or rikers, you will have this click system at the bottom, at the bottom. Uh, of the shock. So can you tell and explain what it does basically? Yeah. You hear the clicks and this is every time one click is one adjustment. And you adjust on, on this uh, uh, part um, the rebound damping. It means how fast the shock come out. We can show you here when we make it. Now it's, it's fast. And when we close. You see, it's very slow. Okay. Nearly close. So rebound of the of the shock is yeah. adjusted by the click system. By the clicks. For more videos about words like rebound, flow of oil, high speed, low speed, stay tuned because we will make new videos for you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and always have fun. Bye.